We're joined today by Alan Kelly, Executive Chairman of Miramar Resources. Alan, thanks for your time. Great, thanks. Investors love drilling. Miramar has not stopped. What have been some of the highlights of the drill programs that you've been undertaking this year? Uh, yeah, we've been really busy. Um, you know, since we've, we've just come up to our second anniversary of, since listing uh, back in October 2020. And, you know, we worked out the other day, we've sent about 75% of our sort of cash flow on exploration, you know, um, and a lot of that's been drilling. So this year um, we've been pretty busy again at, at our Gigi project just north of Kalgoorlie. Um, and and we've, we've recently completed a big program of air core drilling at Barara North, which is sort of the, the unexplored northern four kilometres of that project, pretty close to Paddington. So we're waiting on results of that uh, with bated breath. Um, we've also finally got onto the lake at Glandor. That's our second project out uh, about 40 kilometres east of Kalgoorlie. And there were some really nice historic high grade diamond hits there, things like six metres at 30 grams. And, but we struggled to get a lake diamond rig. Um, so finally, a couple of months ago, we actually uh, mobilised a rig from the eastern states and brought it over. Uh, we drilled our first hole, we got visible gold, um, we got you know, metre at almost half an ounce. Um, we did a, a 40 metre step out, we got visible gold in that hole as well, and we're waiting on assay results from that. And the third hole's also got mineralisation as well, and we're waiting on results from that. Um, we'll be back on the ground there again, um, actually on Monday with a, a diamond rig, and that it looks like it's got the potential to turn into something pretty nice. Um, and, and the third one, really, the, the real exciting one probably is our whale shark project up in Ronslow where we think there's potential for an iron oxide copper gold um, system, so something like an Ernest Henry or a Carapatina or something like that, but only about 100 metres of cover. Uh, last year we did some preparatory work which included a couple of soil sampling programs and we got some really nice copper, uranium, moly, rare earth anomalies. Um, and we drilled some air core holes there in August where we were just sort of drilling down through the, the basement cover, basin cover to the top of the basement and we're waiting on those results too. So um, we saw some pretty interesting looking rocks so we'll just have to see what the assays look like. And to remind shareholders and potential shareholders, you're in a very well endowed infrastructure environment. Yeah, well, you know, our Kalgoorlie projects, so our Eastern Goldfield projects, you know, are all within about 50 kilometres of Kalgoorlie. Our main project, Gidgee, is only 15 k's north of Kalgoorlie and the main highway runs right through the middle of it. Um, on one side, we've got Northern Star with the super pit. On, on the eastern side, we've got Canana Bell, and to the north, we've got Paddington. So, you know, if you use the real estate sort of analogy, it's like the cheapest house in the best street. But even our Glandor project, it's 40 k's east of Kalgoorlie, but we've got Black Cat just to the south of us building a new processing plant there. So that's in a great location if you find something. And then even our Onslow project up at Whale Shark, you know, we've got a major highway, we've got a gas pipeline right next to us, and Min, Minres are building a, a new big iron ore uh, mine with a haul road that runs right across the bottom of our project there. So all of our projects are in a great location if we find something to then be able to potentially monetise. So it's all about finding something. What's the plan over the next six to 12 months? Um, well, our focus at the moment is on Glandor. Um, so, so we've got diamond drilling going on there probably for the next month or so, um, depending on how the assays come back. Um, you know, we think there's really good potential to, to define something, you know, pretty quickly in terms of, you know, uh, not quite a resource, but something that looks like a resource. Um, and depending on what happens with our whale shark project too, we could be back there pretty quickly as well. Um, so that's probably the main focus at the moment. You've had a big two years, a lot of money spent in the ground, which is what investors love to see. Big plans to keep that momentum going. Exciting times ahead for Miramar and its shareholders. Alan, thanks for your time. Great, thanks a lot.